hey guys welcome back to part 7 of this series and in this part we are going to cache our data and also use paging 3 with our blog app so let's get started the first thing what you need to do add dependency in your build.gradle so first for our app level you need to add this paging library for our data layer you are going to use this room database and paging 3 library and uh, lastly we have our domain layer so in domain layer you need to add the same dependency just like our data layer Alright, so now I'm going to close all this and to jump into our data layer. So within our data layer, I'm going to create a new package naming room. And within this room, I'm going to create block database. So block database. This is an abstract class. So make sure this is an abstract class and annotated with database and within this database we are going to pass the entities second we are going to pass the version number so initially it is one and lastly we have export the schema and need to pass false in my case now i'm going to create a companion object and this companion object is return me block database so extend this block database with room database to inherit the property of a room database in our block database application the block database class now i am going to create a instance of our block database for that i am going to pass context in here and it will return me a block database now return room database builder pass your context second is our class name so in our case it is a block database class.java and lastly we need to pass the name so i am going to pass name block and in, at the end we simply build this all right so this is for our database creation now we are going to make a data access objects so by using this data access object we are going to manipulate our room database or you can say perform CRUD operations so right click new go to kotlin class class file this is an interface and i am going to call block dao this interface is going to be annotated with DAO and within this interface we are going to perform the CRUD operation but before that make, let's make our entities what are the entities we are actually going to store in our block database so for that jump into your domain layer within our domain layer we have model and within this model we actually getting a list of block from web service so we are going to store this list of block in our database so i'm going to annotate it with entity and every entity has a primary key so primary key and i don't want to generate this from room database that is why i pass here auto generate false all right now jump into your data layer room package and here i'm going to create a simple class naming block key so this key is basically responsible for our fetching data from the web service so remote mediator is going to use this key and knows when he want to fetch data from the web service so this is an data class and within this data class we have three parameters first is our id which is type of int second is our previous key so use pray for that and lastly we have next so this is also an int type and annotate this entity because our room database doesn't know if we didn't annotate this class with entity now make this as a primary key auto generate false and remove this nullable operator primary key is not equal to null so that is why we remove this question mark or you can say nullable operator all right now we are going to perform some operation with these two models or entities in our block DAO. so go to your block DAO and here i am going to first perform the insertion pass on conflict strategy would be replaced this line of code is going to be tell us if you push any id which is already existing in our room database we are going to replace the older one with the newer one so suspend function and i am going to insert all block which will simply take a list of block so list of block now i am going to take all this data from the room database for that i am going to write query and within this query i am pass select all from our block 
this is a not suspend function and uh, I'm going to call get all blog items it will return me a paging so paging source keys int and value is blog the third one is used to delete all the items present in our room database so delete from block so this will completely delete all the information present in our block table so this is also suspend function delete all items okay now similarly for our block key i am going to write three different function so the first one is of course insertion and pass on conflict strategy would be replace just like previous one so suspend function insert all block keys okay so pass the list of pass the list of block key so block key second is query key all right so i make a typo error here d e l e t e okay and at the last we are going to take some values from our database so select all from block key where id is equals to id so we are going to pass id here so get all keys and this is a type of string it will return me a block key so these three operations which we are going to perform using our data access object to our room database now go to your room database and here we are going to give the entities which we are going to use so the first one is block dot class import this block second is block key class not class dot java and everything is fine and within here i am going to create a abstract function get block get access object and it will return us block dao yep now jump into your di package within data layer over here and within our data module we are going to write two provide function so provides function provide database and i am using application context because our database require context for that we pass here application context and it will return us database so block database now return block database dot get instance and pass your context over here all right and provide function is provide the data access object so for that provide dao and here we are going to pass our block database and it will return us block dao and i'm going to return by using our block database we return get block dao objects are not going to be stored in the room db because our room db is stored only primitive data types and here you can see in our block entity we have one owner which is an object and a list of string which is not primitive data types so we are going to create type converters for that so right click new cotton class slash file and i'm going to call room type converters and within this type converters first i am going to annotate with type converters and here i am going to convert the owner to string and i am going to inject the owner within our function and it will return us string so return i am going to use json dot to json all right so the second one type converter is just reverse this process so we have a string and we want owner pass your string over here and this will return us the owner okay 
and I am going to return the owner. So return from JSON. First, you need to pass your string and second the class. So owner class dot Java. So this is type converter for our owner. Now we are going to create type converter for our list of string. This converter first it will accept a list of a string and convert that list of a string into a string. So for that I am using list of a string to a string and it will accept a list of string and it will return a string. So for that I am going to return by using our JSON to JSON we are going to stringify this first the top function so type converter one instead of list of a string we first take a string to list of string okay now it will enter a string and we are going to return a list of string and here i am using json json dot from json pass our string and in the type i am using object type token so this type token is of type list of string all right and here you need to pass the type so it will basically tell us list of string type okay so that's it now we are going to register these type converters to our block database so go to your block database and on the top i am going to annotate type converters with s and here we pass first room type converter plus and the second one is list to string type converter class